Scope components have common behavior. They wrap a T object in a scope, which can be used by the expression engine. They may be referenced by the source component property of a binding component. You've seen that in the examples where the source component property is set to bind scope DB1. Scope components may implement iScope interfaces to expose specialized functionality. The, some of the interfaces are iScope Active, iScope Navigator, iScope Member Names, and iScope Edit Link. There are two bind scope components in the Live Bindings framework. T bind scope provides an object scope for a T object, allowing plain objects to be referenced by binding components such as T bind list and T bind expression. T bind scope does not support the link components, T bind position, or T bind navigator. T bind scope DB provides an object scope for T data source. It implements the interfaces required by the link components. T bind position and T bind navigator. Editors and observers allow binding components to interact with controls in an abstract way so that the binding components can work with both VCL and FireMonkey controls. Editors are implemented and registered by the Live Bindings component framework. There are editors for FireMonkey and VCL controls, including T list box, T combo box, and T string grid. An example of how an ed editor is used is when the control component of a T-bind list is a T-list box, the editor registered for T-list box is called to add items. Observers allow binding components to subscribe to events on controls. Observer types are declared in system.classes. Observers are implemented by FireMonkey and VCL controls, including T-edit, T-memo, T-list box, and, and other controls. T-bind expression and T-bind expert items binding components do not use editors or observers, but all the other binding components do. So in order to have a control work properly with those components, there must be an editor and an observer implementation. I'll run the project so you can see what it does. Uh, it, it's just a kind of data aware form. We can scroll through the data, you know, edit things. Uh, just as you expect to do with uh, DBAware controls, except this is done with uh, vanilla controls and uh, binding components. Let's look at our form. We have a data source and a data set and a bind scope DB and a bindings list, and we have um, edit control a memo, a string grid. Let's look at the bindings list. Um, we see that we have a bunch of bindings components. Um, T bind DB edit link to edit uh, to link the edit control to the category field. Uh, T bind DB memo link to link the notes field. Uh, we have a T bind DB grid link to link a string grid to the bind scope DB. It's pretty easy to use these binding components. Let's drop an edit on our form. And uh, there's a, we, we could go and um, create a binding in the bindings list uh, here by selecting T bind DB edit and setting properties. Or um, there's a shortcut um, through this link to DB field command which shows up when our edit control is selected. So we'll choose that and we'll choose the category field and uh, now you can see that the category is displayed in this field. And what happened uh, was that that command created a new T bind DB edit link and it just set the data source property, the field name, and the control property, edit control property here. In the object inspector, you'll notice that there aren't any expression collections. If we open up the expressions editor, we'll notice that there are expressions. For example, here's a format expression, uh, a parse expression, and a clear expression. But when we look down into the uh, bottom part of this editor, we can see that the expressions are grayed out, meaning that they're not editable. So the tbind db components use expressions but they're generated. What happens is, in the case of tbind db edit link, uh, 
that component creates a t-bind link and populates it with the right expressions to work with an edit control and a in a t-field. All of the t-bind db link components use a t-bind link internally except for the the, the t-bind db grid link which uses a t-bind grid link internally. One more thing I'd like to point out in this sample application is the bind navigator. This is a component that is part of the live bindings framework. To use the bind navigator component we set the bind scope property to a scope component. In this case bind scope db1.